everyone Christian here and I'm gonna do another vlog that I may have done this video of this uh, species before I'm not sure but I'm gonna do another because I have uh, two species side by side I want to discuss and this one here is labeled as Copernicia alba which I may have done before like I said um, again this is native to South America mostly Brazil um, kind of grows in some uh, chillier areas and is very cold hardy as a result um, kind of like Cyagris and Butea it kind of grows in that same uh, rocky uh, limestone area I believe I'm not entirely sure what province but I believe it's in one of the, the chillier provinces uh, in one of the non-tropical provinces of Brazil I could be I could be wrong but um, there's a big debate going on about um, Copernicia alba and Copernicia prunifera now this this palm here, and I'll back up actually, I won't get forward, closer to it. I'll get the clouds over there so I'm not getting the glare. But this, I don't know if you can see the silvery color on this palm, but it's actually quite silver. And over here is the, is what's labeled as Copernicia prunifera. And this is uh, just a green plant, no silver on it whatsoever. And everybody seems to want to label Copernicia prunifera, um, or sorry, Copernicia alba as the green uh Copernicia from Brazil and Copernicia prunifera as the silver Copernicia from, from Brazil and that's just simply not the case. Uh, there are actually green and silver versions of both of these palms and they will differ in size. You can see this palm here has a much bigger crown. This one has a much thinner crown and it, it'll vary uh, quite a bit but, and botanically speaking the only difference between these two palms is actually a branching in the inflorescence of of the uh, the fruit. So, I believe Pernifera has one extra branch in the in the fruiting. You can see that those uh, seeds there are almost ready to drop. They really don't change much of a color before they drop, so it's hard to tell. But this one's going through quite a growth spurt. You can see that all of those leaves, probably 20 fronds, uh, sprouting from up top, and there's probably another 50, 50 to 60 down below. And this one's doing the same as well. It's probably a, just part of their it's summer uh, jump. Now, one thing that Alba does tend to do over Pernifera is it, it, it'll start dropping this these leaf bases. And it'll bring it down to about here. And then it'll just stop. And it'll hold this. And this one, uh, I'm sorry, Pernifera will not do that as uh, as, as much. I, it really is hard to tell, uh, to be honest, the difference between the two plants by visually looking at them. This one is obviously beefier, but that's just actually a climate, is a cultural thing. It's just being, it was probably just a more, a beefier plant, from, came from beefier genes. Just like you see many queen palms that are thicker or thinner. And uh, as a result, people think that Pernifera is a bigger plant, but it's it's not necessarily, it's not necessarily green or silver or more silver or more green than uh, the other species. It just tends to come from, uh, it's, it's really the cultural requirements that it grew in, in habitat, and both of them can be both green and silver. So this is a silver alba and a green prunifera. So um, these plants are probably both good zone, eight, solid zone 8B plants. I've seen them growing well in Jacksonville. Um, probably would grow up into coastal Georgia. Uh, in the Louisiana and Texas areas like that pretty pretty well and they are uh, you know, they, they do grow quite fast as well they don't grow as fast to begin with but then they kind of just leap up and they'll jump out of the ground and grow four feet in one year so um, you can see let's see if I can get to the other side here without they don't take care of the fire ant hills so I'm not a big fan <laughs> oh, it's much better over here but you can see the fruit is actually starting to ripen right there and uh, the when it drops, it'll actually be a nice spiral. Uh, it'll have a nice spiral look about the base. So um, right in here, you can see just how much fun it is to reach to the crown of that plant and see all those that all that arming. That'll definitely cut you up pretty well. So uh, be careful if you're going to go reach for seed or you're going to trim this plant. It is quite vicious. So it's one of the downsides of this plant, but. If you live in a zone 8B climate, this is definitely one of the better uh, palms to grow. So um, 
the seed is going to germinate like other Copernicia, a lot of high heat, a lot of water, and uh, it'll it'll germinate relatively fast if it's fresh seed. So um, anyway, I just want to I want to I wanted to touch on the well, is this Copernicia alba or is it Pernifera? So this is alba, and I will possibly make a video on that plant as well. I'm going to double check my videos, and um, anyway, that'll be about it for this plant. So. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions about Copernicias and the differences between the different species, uh, the differences between South American versus Cuban versus Hispaniolan uh, species, definitely leave them down below, and I'll try and answer them and, uh, as soon as I can. And thanks for watching.